Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you two easy, no-fail ways to make slime for beginners. I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic fluffy slime, which I think is the most fun to play with, and also just a classic regular slime recipe as well. Both are very easy to make, and these are the two most common recipes you're going to see when you come across slime. First, we're gonna be making the classic slime. So all you need is a bottle of glue. You could double this if you want even more slime and use two, three, four bottles of glue. It really just depends how much slime you want. And then we're gonna need an activator. So I'm using one cup of warm water and about a teaspoon of borax and stirring it together. Now this is the most easy to find activator, but my personal favorite is a liquid starch like Stay Flow, and I think that works really, really well. I find that it's a lot more forgiving than the borax but as long as you're careful this will work just fine and it's also going to be the easiest for you to probably find at your local stores so once that is completely dissolved we can go ahead and move on to making slime here is where you would add in any color that you want into your bowl. If you want to use food coloring, you could just mix it into the glue right now. I'm just using white to keep it basic. And then we're gonna go ahead and slowly start to stir in the borax. We're not gonna use the whole cup, we only need a tiny, tiny bit, and you just wanna add a little bit until it completely forms a slime. If it's too sticky, just keep adding a tiny bit at a time until it's no longer sticky, and then you could go in and work it in with your hands. Now on to my favorite recipe, which is the fluffy slime. I think this is the most fun to play with. And I'm using an entire bottle of glue and equal parts of foaming shave foam. Once we've added the shaving foam, we're just going to stir it together until it's nice and smooth. This is also where you would add any food coloring or glitter that you want in your slime. Next, we're going to slowly mix in our activator that we made in the first recipe. And again, you only need a tiny bit of this to activate your slime. And then you slowly wanna knead it together until it is no longer sticky and foamy. And just slowly adding in that activator a little bit at a time until it's the right consistency. You could use your fingers to touch it, which I like to do before I dig my whole hand in to start to knead and then find out that it's not ready. That way it kind of helps your hand from getting messy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. I'm gonna leave some more of my slime recipes using different ingredients in the description box below in case you don't have any of these that I use. There's always a substitute. So I hope you enjoy this. Make sure to subscribe for more DIYs and slime videos and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.